Hey, what's up everybody? Today we're gonna to be talking about Boiga nigriceps, otherwise known as a black-headed cat snake. This species is a pretty medium-sized snake that lives throughout the jungles of Indonesia, Borneo, and parts of Malaysia and Thailand. They're an arboreal species and they love to climb or drape. Draping, uh, what I mean by that is more of perching system that has three to four points of contact. They're not true perchers like a chondro or an emerald tree boa, you know, where it's a horizontal perch, just uh, two points of contact. They're kind of like a carpet or an Amazon tree boa. They like to drape. Just something to make note. Wanted to talk with you guys briefly about some, uh, I guess, just character things and uh, characteristics of the animals, as well as uh, some husbandry issues. And I wanted to touch on venom. So, Proper husbandry includes a spacious cage that allows for climbing and basking. Coming from a jungle habitat, fresh water, humidity, or at the very least, a humid hide are, are vital to the survival of these animals. As hatchlings, they're a beautiful orange color and resemble the Boiga cyanea babies, with the only difference being the green head. Adults vary in shades of tan and deep rust, and they can even go to a more orange color. They're not an unusually aggressive species, but there are specimens that exhibit more defensive behavior than others. But one thing I do want to note is that Boiga nigriceps, when compared to other species within the genus, are more tolerant of keeper error, and there are great species regarding Boiga to start with. Just something, if you're thinking of getting into the genus Boiga, you might want to start with an animal like uh, Boiga nigriceps because they're a little, more, a little bit more tolerant to keeper error. Successful breedings of the species have been sporadic at best, if you are getting these guys, chances of coming across captive-born babies or good solid imported animals that aren't in bad condition are pretty rare, so I would jump on them if you have the chance because you'd be getting in at the ground level. I did want to talk briefly about the venom with this species because they are a rear-fanged venomous reptile. The difference between them and vipers is vipers uh, have the fangs located on the front, so if you get it by a rattlesnake, chances are you're envenomated. They have longer fangs, they're right there on the front. They bite, they pull back, and those fangs have already been in your system and they've already delivered the dose. Now, when if a rear fang species bites you, they actually have to work those fangs that are situated in the back of the mouth into the prey item or into the skin. So they have to get the mouth completely around the item that they're biting. So if an animal just bites you, you know, you're not gonna sit there and let it gnaw on you. That would be a pretty foolhardy decision. You're gonna pull back and chances are they weren't able to get the, the venom inside of you. Now, there haven't been any known fatalities with Boiga nigriceps. They say that their venom is somewhat comparable. Now, again, this isn't exactly proven, but it is somewhat comparable to that of a copperhead. Getting bit by one of these, if you are envenomated, potentially could ruin your day, and there could be some localized swelling. As a whole, the species is not overly aggressive. Uh, there are going to be exceptions to that, like with any species that you work with. Anytime you're working with Boiga nigriceps, I'd say that's probably a little bit of an exaggeration. Care and caution should be used whenever working with any reptile that has any type of venom. Just something to keep in mind. I do think they're a rewarding species. From what I've seen, I find them fairly interesting and different when compared to other species of colubrids. I think that they are a great beginner species. Again, make sure that you do your homework prior and make sure you know what you're getting yourself into. They're not something that you're gonna to wanna to put in a small drawer. They need climbing space, they need a larger cage, maybe a three by two by two. It's probably a good safety measure to always open the cage with a hook. Make sure you have a hook on hand whenever you're uh, working with the adults and you should be good to go. Anyway, thanks for tuning in, guys. This was Boiga Nigriceps. Hope you enjoyed the little bonus episode. Until next time, you've been watching Godbolt Exotics.